Alaska Swim Pro Show. We are in Detroit, Michigan on a yacht. My name is Ferris Savetti, co-founder and CEO of My Swim Pro, and I am joined by three-time Olympian Elizabeth Beisel. Hey, thanks for having me. We're on a yacht. We're on a yacht. <laughs> so, uh, well, why are we in Detroit? What's, what's happening? So today we had our Master Swim Clinic for Michigan and it went wonderfully. We had a clinic, we did a little brunch beforehand, we had the banquet afterwards, and now we're on a yacht doing an interview. This is amazing. So uh, Elizabeth, walk us through your swimming journey. So from growing up through college, Olympics, walk mm -hmm. us through it. Yeah, so growing up, I'm from the Ocean State, and pretty much a requirement of being a citizen of Rhode Island is knowing how to swim, because there's so many beaches. Um, that made me fall in love with the water even more, and then that turned into me joining a swim team, Started breaking records at an early age. Uh, made my first national team when I was 13, Olympic team when I was 15. And here I am three Olympics later, a couple Olympic medals later. Um, and now I'm officially retired swimming. And here we are on a yacht again. <laughs> so uh, you just sandwiched a lot into yes, yes. 30 seconds. We're going to unpackage some of that. But you're still super involved with the sport. You have a book coming yes. out. Tell us about the book. So the book is obviously about my swimming career. Um, a lot of stories about adversities and ups and downs that I face because I feel like on the surface level, especially myself, everybody sees me as this, wow, nothing ever went wrong with her. She had such an amazing career. She's so happy. But behind the scenes, there are a lot of stuff that I, I went through and people maybe not know about. Um, so it was cool for me to really dive into that. And it was a little cathartic to write the book mm. and that I was able to look back on my career and appreciate it for all of the ups and its downs. Um, but it's coming out in February, 2020. It's called Silver Lining. Um, so I hope you guys purchase it. Um, and we'll leave a link in the description yeah, once it's out. Perfect. Uh, awesome. And tell us about, you know, what, what did you study in school and where do you want to go after this, uh, yeah. this next steps? So studied journalism at the University of Florida, and that's definitely the route that I want to take with my life. I'm, I, have, I tell everybody I'm just trying to avoid a nine to five job because I know I'm not meant to do that. I'm always on the go, always all over the place. So I really enjoy just living freely and doing what I like. And I really like swimming and I really like commentating swimming. Um, so hopefully one day I'll be able to maybe get on TV by not swimming, but talking about swimming, which so would be you've ideal. Already the TV journey, Survivor, yeah. tell us about it. Oh God. <laughs> Survivor was a very out of the blue experience. I was not expecting for it. I was not looking for it. Um, it sort of just happened. Mm -hmm. And I'm really fortunate for it because it, you know, it introduced me into a different side of the TV world that I had never seen. Yeah. Um, it made me appreciate the people behind the camera mm -hmm. because there's so much work that goes into not even just an interview like this, but in an entire show. Oh, for sure. And to see that firsthand, it was it was mind blowing. So that really made me appreciate that side of it. What, what's your biggest like highlight? And you mentioned one of them in the banquet mm -hmm. in your swimming career. Yeah, I would say biggest highlight dream come true moment was making my first Olympic team. It's what we all dream about as swimmers. And then winning the bronze medal in the Turner backstroke when Missy Franklin won gold mm -hmm. and being able to stand on the podium, listen to my national anthem being played uh, because Missy had won mm -hmm. and just really appreciating and having fun and loving the sport that I was doing um, and just taking that moment in and being present. And some of the stories that you shared in the banquet are in the book, hopefully? Oh yeah, a ton of the stories are in the book, yeah. It's so juicy what you shared. Yeah, like... there's, there's a lot of good stuff um, that many of you guys probably never knew about, um, so hopefully yeah. you guys will read it, yeah. That was very interesting. Yeah. One of the things you mentioned was self-confidence and mm -hmm. believing in yourself. What advice do you have for people with, with regard to that? Yeah, I, you know, I think in any realm of our lives, Believing in yourself is one of the most important things, no matter how crazy or, you know, wild your dreams are. Mm -hmm. Believing in yourself is one of the most important things to do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for me, I talk about the story where I Google the odds of becoming a United States Olympian and they're 0.003%. Those odds are not in your favor, but I was crazy 0 .003. enough. 0.003. Yeah. So for me, believing in those odds of that there was a chance, it's not impossible, is why I'm here today with three Olympics under my belt, because... I tirelessly believed in myself. It's amazing, self-confidence yeah. and self-belief. Yeah. Uh, so tell us about classical music. Oh yeah, okay, so I'm just, I'm weird and I love classical music. I was born on it, you know, I went to a birthday party when I was three and there was a classical musician there. Mm. I don't know why, um, but I <laughs> fell in love with the violin and so I got a violin that Christmas from my mom and dad and then started p playing piano shortly after and it was really my, it, it was like a release from swimming. It mm. was the way that I sort of stepped out of the pool and stepped into a different realm of life. And I really appreciated it for, you know, it just gave me one of those moments where if swimming wasn't going well, I still have violin and piano. 
And so music has been a huge part of my life. And, and I do talk about it in the book a little bit as mm -hmm. well. Um, but yeah, it's a part of me. Not many people know that, but I do love playing music. Are there any other things that people might not know about you that like like that you're yeah. amazing at you're underselling yourself? You're just amazing at Oh, thank you. Thanks. So, any other fun facts? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't no, think so. I, okay. I don't know. Um, I love all things in the water. I love to surf. I love to wake surf. Um, whatever it is on the water is, is what I love and anything within music I really love. Awesome. So Okay, so we're gonna close out with any shout outs that you wanna give to people who have supported you or oh. anything at all. I would love to shout out, you know, the two main coaches that I had in my life, Coach Troy and Chuck Batchelor. Um, my parents, obviously, for driving me to and from practice my entire life. My brother for being my biggest fan. Um, I think those are the most important people in my life. So shout out to them. Awesome. Shout yeah. it out. <laughs> that was the Ask a Swim Pro Show in Detroit, Michigan on the Detroit River with three-time Olympian Elizabeth Beisel. <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. Bye. Hey.